Welcome to the Good Food Summit 2014. My name is Michelle Napier Dunnings, and I'm from Michigan Food and Farming Systems. MIFS is a statewide organization supporting the many faces of farming. And we support beginning and historically underserved farmers to connect with resource opportunities like all of our exhibitors in the back of the room that I know you're all going to go visit sometime today. And we help those producers, growers, ranchers, farmers find a way to have a profitable and environmentally sustainable livelihood. This is about the whole food system having a profitable and sustainable live, livelihood wherever you are. So I'm your MC for today, and I'll be back up here in a moment. But first, I'd like to introduce Michigan Commission of Agriculture and Rural Development's 2014 appointee, Drew Montrey. Good morning. Thank you, Michelle, and thank you all for being here today for the Michigan Good Food Summit. What a positive and powerful way to start the day together with more than 350 people committed to thinking and talking about good food and about what the Michigan Good Food Charter means to all of us. Plus, there are many who wanted to be here today but aren't able to join us. More than 600 individuals and organizations have already signed a resolution of support for the charter, and that is growing. So thank you all, for those of you in the room and those have, who have signed a resolution of support, for being part of a movement invested in creating change in our food system and for your willingness to work together with others to create that change. Today, we're bringing together a wide variety of different backgrounds, experiences, goals, and passions. From working with many of you over the last eight years, I have learned so much about how we all balance a myriad of roles in our lives and our work. I do the same, and I try to use food and agriculture as the glue to keep my many responsibilities tied together, or at least flowing together as closely as they can. I'm a mom who daily makes decisions about what my two young daughters will eat through in their meals and their snacks. And I also encourage our Bath Elementary School and our Bath Beehive, which is a daycare that is housed in our elementary school, to use their hoop house as part of a strategy to incorporate fresh local foods into school meals and snacks. Adam, my husband, who is still uh, shuttling kids to school and will be here shortly, together we farm um, about 10 miles north of here. Our farm is called Ten Hens Farm and we grow and sell produce year-round to Lansing area restaurants, farms, and at our Bath Farmers Market. The role that most of you probably know me through, though, is through my role as the director of the Michigan Farmers Market Association, where I have the great privilege of working with and for Michigan's more than 300 farmers markets and the farmers and vendors who sell at those markets. I also try to stay tied closely to my family roots in the Michigan meat processing industry through my role as the executive secretary with the Michigan Meat Association. And as Michelle mentioned, my most recent um, endeavor is an appointment to the Michigan Commission of Agriculture and Rural Development. I am honored to represent the voice of good food on the commission, and I understand how important this position is. I've entered this new conversation with open ears and a very strong commitment to an agricultural and food system I believe in and I care deeply about. Although the four other commissioners are unable to join us today, I have been invited by them to provide an update on today's event during our November meeting, and I hope to identify ways that the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development and the commission can continue to engage with this work. And I think the time is right. MDARD's fiscal year 2014 strategic plan specifically included the goals of improving access to healthy food and increasing sustainable food and agricultural systems. We all know that change doesn't happen overnight. And for those of you that I'm lucky enough to work with most closely, you also know that I'm not a very patient person. 
But I'm learning to practice patience as we work to develop policy solutions and regulatory guidance that can resonate with the large diversity of agricultural stakeholders across Michigan. For this work to be meaningful and mainstream, we have to be able to express our thoughts, ideas, and recommendations in a way that all stakeholders can adhere and can engage with. We don't have the ability to start over, nor can we ask for a clean slate on which to build food systems that are healthy, green, fair, and affordable. But by bringing people together who are passionate, we can create and articulate goals like the six that form the backbone of the Good Food Charter. We also create innovative programs like Fair Food Network's Double Up Food Bucks and Hoop Houses for Health, which is a program that's run by the MSU Center for Regional Food Systems, the MSU Department of Horticulture, and the Michigan Farmers Market Association. These are just two of many programs that move us toward these goals. Today, we're gonna identify calls to action that we can rally around, and we're gonna discuss metrics that we're gonna be able to use to measure the change that we're making throughout our communities and across the state. I hope that you're all as excited as I am to continue this ongoing work, to support each other in our challenges, and to celebrate our successes together. So thank you all for being an integral part of Good Food in Michigan and beyond, and let's have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you.